Eliminating lip wrinkles with intradermal cellular adipose filling. Lip wrinkles are a common aesthetic problem. The techniques that we use in order to eliminate or reduce them are timed surgical mixed peeling and intradermal adipose filling. In adipose filling, liposuction is carried out through a cannula of 3 or 4 mm in diameter. The upper lip is anesthetized with 2% mepivacaine with epinephrine. The loco regional anesthesia is carried out through the vestibular mucosa. The lobular fat is washed with Ringer lactate solution or physiological solution in a beaker equipped with a tap until the washing liquid becomes clear. The washed lipoaspirate is fragmented by means of the adipopimmer. The aspiration vortex created by this disposable device separates the lobules. Small lobular fragments are first produced, then, after 20 seconds, single living adipocytes and stromal cells. The living adipose and stromal cells are injected into the dermis of the vertical wrinkles preferably with a 21G needle. This needle is sufficiently rigid to be inserted with precision inside the wrinkle. When injected into the dermis, the cellular suspension has no volumetric effect, but exerts a potent regenerative action. Once the cellular suspension has been injected into the vertical wrinkles, it is injected into the dermis of the entire lip and into the vermilion border. The needle is inserted laterally. The injection must whiten the dermis. The cellular suspension is injected into the dermis of the entire surface of the lip and along both sides of the nasal filter. The result is visible after a few weeks. The fact that the adipose filling suspension can be conserved in a 1 ml syringe at temperatures from minus 20 degrees centigrade to minus 30 degrees centigrade means that further small adjustments can subsequently be made if necessary. To access this material you must subscribe to the crpub.org medical video journal. Subscription is free and reserved for medical doctors only.